Like I said, man, we back on it. Look, I need more lights in the studio, but it's gonna be as bright as it can be. Before I got stopped, man, before I got really interrupted. This has nothing to do with anything else, but this has everything to do with everything I'm trying to do. Below in the description, I'm gonna list my Cash App name. I'm trying to raise my first $1,000 strictly off my, my content from YouTube and put it in my daughter's bank account. So I'm gonna put my Cash App there. And if anybody wanna help out a donation, 50 cents, 25 cents, a quarter, a dollar, it don't matter. Really appreciate the love and support. Just trying to raise my first $1,000. That's my first small goal for my daughter. Like I said, either way it goes, I'm gonna save up every penny either way. But let's get into it, man. How long you been uh, doing your thing, bro? As far as like, uh, like jumping on the the merchandise wave, and then working for yourself wave. You know what I'm talking about? Like as far as like like getting to where you had to get your product, and then start g gaining an audience. You know what I'm saying? How long have you been jumping on that shit? So it was all artist mode up until December of 2020. Uh huh. I remember okay. we had a show December of 2020. And before that show, I decided to actually start the brand, the clothing brand. We even had the brand. Mm. Tell your brand to the camera one time for the people, man, so they can let them know. Man, for the people that's watching this, I already know. But if you don't know, it's big, for the youth shit, 40 wide, worldwide, the clothing brand now, and it still is the music label and a lot more shit. If you if you know me and my dog, you know we had music way back in the past. If you go search up my old rap name on YouTube, you can find a music video called Smoke Rod Island. In the beginning of that music video, you'll see the For The Youth logo. But I was in no shape or any form in charge of it. This is the whole start. This is the, this is the founder of what it was. And at and that time, I had no idea what I was putting myself into. It was just some shit that I just came up with. I threw together a collective of artists. Like he said, he was one of them. And we got, had three other guys, four other guys. Um, that we're all a part of one thing. We pushed it. Uh, we all kind of did our own thing throughout the years, and I kind of flipped it and did more with the brand, and now it is what it is today, and it's mm -hmm. still expanding, so. And for people who don't know, like I said, as far as me being an artist, like I, I decided, you know what I'm saying, that I gotta gain the best of knowledge as an artist myself in order to go into the, the music business or whatever you want to call it. Obviously, man, you gotta have something you stand on, at least a brand, something you represent. For the youth, man, it's like, it, it's self-explanatory, you know? Inspiring the youth, trying to encourage, you know, not staying in the box, be, being your own person, having your own sauce, you know what I'm saying? Not riding nobody wave. And we always trying to encourage to help each other out. Like, I don't do none of that hate stuff like you already know, man. Anybody who, who be here, they know what's going down, you know what I'm saying? So they know what's going on. We not here forever, man. Yeah. So you definitely got to push to the next generation. For sure. You got to get them the game. You got to show them what's going on in the right way. That's just what it is, man. How did it go as far as like recording new music and, and writing? It kind of threw me for a loop. Kind of put all my attention towards the merchandise and the business side mm -hmm. of things. Yeah, of course. And learned all that stuff. So it took a toll on me time-wise to just learn everything that I know now. But uh, I write here and there since then. The way life has turned and the way life is going for me right now is just like, music could be therapeutic. So mm -hmm. I didn't want to just say I walked away from music. So I kind of found another spark in me to want to do it again. So lately I've been getting back into the rhythm of doing that. Cause I definitely don't want to throw away something that can help me help somebody else. In yeah, the for run. sure. Yeah, yeah. And that's all we, like I said, that's all we're trying to do is just, is just build some. Cause uh, what I was trying to explain to my other folks is that, uh, and my family or just like in general, like my friends or whatever there, I haven't seen nobody lead by example as far as somebody starting their own business or their own company or following their passion as far as like art or a certain, you know, something different than right. just like worldly jobs, you right. know? And, um, that's what I'm trying to do here for my daughter. Like I said, I just want to uh, show her that that you can, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. follow your passion and, and still make a living off of it. 
You just gotta work hard, obviously. You just gotta work hard. You gotta man. work hard. It takes gotta sacrifice take too, yeah. for sure. Definitely. It definitely takes a lot of time out of doing what you wanna do and just learning this shit, man. Cause I done missed plenty of parties, friends' parties. They say, hey, come out, let's go to the bar, whoop de woo. I done turned down that, or not even just turned down, I just didn't go because I was yeah. in my room slash office mm -hmm. and uh, just learning shit, Trying man. to think, huh? Just, yeah, just trying to, like, figure it out. And then once I did all that, I kind of got the gist of knowing what I got to do and knowing how to do certain things and shit. I popped it back out. Everybody's still doing what they do. They partying, shit. I got to, I missed a couple of little outings, but shit. I made the rest. Yeah, Shit. yeah. That's that's the thing, man. Uh, if you don't know me, I've been real off the map. So uh, uh, I made music a long time ago in certain studios, and, and some of it was uh, cool and all. But like again, I didn't really jump into making my own music myself until 2020 started off. That's when I was able to get my equipment, and I was able to. Uh, get FL Studio on my laptop and sound kits and all that other stuff. And when you're an artist, you start focusing on trying to do all that. In another video, I'm gonna drop uh, links to all the people that inspired me, all the people I got information from and give them a shout out and give y'all links. So, you know what I'm saying? I can show y'all some, some game kicked out too, man. And so I haven't started making no beat. Like I said, when you get into real conversation with, with you know what I'm saying, real artists and you get down to it, man, you know what I'm saying? You can really talk all day. So uh, 